Right, well I think it's fair to say that most of my feeder fishing revolves around skimming and bream fishing uh, but even on those occasions when we are targeting those, those species we often find that we are putting a second line in to target roach, perch or just basically anything that swims. Sometimes we're doing that because we're giving our bream line a chance to, to settle and develop uh, and other, on other occasions we need a second line just to rest the main line. On that sort of a line we find that we tend to be fishing for virtually anything that swims which means the mixers and the baits that we use on that sort of line are a lot less um, a lot less selective. People have asked me what sort of mix I'd use in, in those on those um, sort of scenarios and my number one mix I, it, it, and it has been for over you know a year probably nearly two years now is uh, Pro Natural Dark. It's a great cereal based mix obviously made by Bait Tech. There is a natural ver natural coloured version of this as well, which is a lighter colour than this. You can probably just see how dark that is there. Um, it's a great all-round mix, it really is. It's, it's really dominated in Ireland uh, a couple of years ago. Two, cer two certain Irish gentlemen who I won't uh, who I won't mention because I won't say the names because they're with other sponsors now. Um, really dominated in Ireland using this sort of mix and it really is. It's just as effective over here in the UK and in Europe as well. I used this on the Ghent and Ternus and Canal two years ago. Um, in the international feeder challenge and you know we came away with a medal again so it works in a variety of different venues and um, there's lots of little bits of hemp in there it's quite a fine mix but there's a little bit of hemp in there there's a lot of molasses in there there's also a lot of brown crumb in there which means it's a very um, it, it's a mix that's not too selective you can catch anything with this mix and if if I ever I'm in doubt of what sort of mix to use or what kind of target species I'm going to be going for this would generally be the number one starting point um, it's obviously great for roach and perch and hybrids in places like Ireland as well and it's great to mix other stuff with it as well. Um, we've got the crushed hemp, if you're targeting roach, the crushed hemp will add a lot of activity that, to that mix as well and it's obviously brilliant for targeting roach and hybrids. Um, if we're after a larger fish, larger roach, I'd love to, I mean everyone knows how effective hemp is and how, what a great base bait it is, um, especially if you're going to put a line in to, set, to, to develop later on in the match. A bed of hemp is brilliant because obviously it stays exactly where it is and it can really be selective to something out some better stamp roach and perch and um, that's great and what another something else that a lot of people have done over the last couple of years especially in Ireland again is adding molasses there are different versions of molasses and this is the one I always use I can add there's already quite a bit of molasses in the uh, pro natural dark mix anyway but by adding this it just gives it a little bit of a boost it can act as a bit of a binder as well, it can make it a little bit stickier which is great if you're using a cage feeder in deep water or if you're boiling it and on the pole as well, it helps it bind um, and it will, because of the colour of it that you can see, it will make the mix slightly darker as well not that I think that's a big issue because that mix is already dark already but that sort of combination is a great starting point if you're going to venues, especially natural venues that are clear water you're not quite sure what to target and it's just a good starting point um, and you can catch anything over it. I even know that there are one or two really really good top anglers that have used this mix with a percentage of fish meal in it. So if you're going to a venue that uh, maybe especially in winter time they want, to, they want a mix that's going to catch anything, skimmers, roach, but they want a little bit element of fish meal in there to, to hopefully select one or two better fish probably later on in the match. So they might add 5, 10%, 15% of special G green or a fish meal mix to this um, which again gives it another dimension to its versatility. It's a great mix. Uh, I was fortunate enough to shoot a feature with this mix just before it was released. Uh, I wasn't fishing, I was shooting the feature with Dean Barlow, the Feeder International, I'm sure you all know. He used this and you wouldn't believe how overwetted he used this mix. He used it on the River Don at Sprotborough. Quite a deep venue, 10, 12 feet deep, and he was using it in a cage feeder and he had a cracking net of fish and it was middle of winter um, but again it shows you that you can use this mix dry with, with uh, crushed hemp in a, in a plastic feeder if you want a really active mix you, know, you can have it just a, a medium in a medium state for a variety of, of uses or you can really over wet it which is great I find it's great in shallow water with a cage it's for creating that wet cloud uh, again it's brilliant for skimmers but this will also mean that any roach or perch that are in the, in the peg because it's not a strong fish meal mix you're going to catch and get bites from fish of all sorts of sizes and you've got to admit, especially at this time of year, I mean it's February now, sometimes we can't afford to be that selective. So it's a great all-round mix, a great starting point, and whenever I'm struggling to make a decision, this will be the one that I'll start with and take it from there.
just one to try for everyone and you'll be surprised how versatile it is so just get out there give it a go even if it's a hard winter's day and you just want a few bites that's sort of the mix that can keep it ticking up keep a line ticking over until hopefully one or two bream turn up on a, on a longer line for you know when you can be more selective later on in the match um, a great all-round mix